Greetings, Mac Warriors. My name is TTB. Welcome back to Battletech Advanced 3062, the last mission that we can take here. Another escort mission this time. One full skull. Hopefully, we don't lose our dudes again. Uh, like last time. Uh, we'll try to play it better. But uh, of course, if they spawn in at weird spots, then we might have a problem. Actually, before we do that, should we, br should we bring in the medium pulse lasers? This might be the time to bring in the medium pulse lasers. And um, let's see. We also have. We have a mech fully constructed, right? It's a locust. It is ready. That there we go. We build the locust and we mothball the locust. Now we can sell it. Very nice. Um, let's see. Which one would be the best mech? Probably the raven for the medium pulse, right? What we're going to do is we're going to remove the small lasers because we don't really need them right now. Even though they're really nice for close range stuff. Um, remove those. Remove this medium laser. Actually, is it better to have the lasers in the arms or in the in the torsos? I wonder. Huh. In any case, where is my medium pulse laser? One evasion pip ignored by this weapon and plus two accuracy. Nice. And then we'll remove this medium laser. And what else? This medium laser. Get another medium pulse in. How much more is medium pulse? 27 damage over the medium laser 20, 180, 360, 120, 240. So it's a lot less range now for this thing. Um, also, the healing is uh, the healing is uh, the, the heat efficiency is through the roof, so I'm probably gonna drop a heat sink here, and uh, maybe leave a medium laser in here. And what was this one? That would be better. So three medium lasers, two medium pulses. That should be okay. Alright, let's do it. Right. Pass laser raven. I said Urbi have... Uh, the Urbi can't run any kind of Dakar, unfortunately. Right now we have no mechs that can run Dakar. That's, this is depressing me. This is really depressing me that we can't run Dakar. What's, what's in the store? Are there any good mechs in store? No. I can sell the Locust for 240k and the Stinger for 240k. That's not really much, much value. Right? We're not gonna get much value out of this, unfortunately, but I'm gonna sell them. Is it, do, I, do I sell them or do I scrap them? So Locus sells for 204k. If I went to scrap him, what does that do? Is the Locus in storage here? No. Components? No. Base? Where's my, where's my cold storage? It should be in storage here, right? Am I blind? Oh, here. Here is the locust. Okay. This is the, the scrap for Seabills button. 204k. So we get the same thing. Yeah, yeah, we get the same... We get the same value whether we sell it or scrap it. It's the same value. So it doesn't really matter. Alright. These are gone. We got some money back. Let's, uh, let's get this mission going here. I'm gonna go full savage again. Hopefully we get something good. Uh, the ra oh, the raven. We need to wait for the raven real quick. It's two days or so of a work in progress. What's going on here? The catapult! Three mech warriors clustered around a table in the mess hall. They build a medieval catapult, constructed of dried noodles, bits of edible foam and elastic bands. Why? <laughs> we were using utensils at first, but the cook took him away. If we can get it tuned properly, it will be great for radishes. Uh... Sure, I'll supervise. Everybody gets high spirits! Hey! 
You watch the pilots work together as a team to get the little toy working. You only feel compelled to give a few hints while drinking your coffee. It works precisely once before falling apart, but that one time sends a reddish arcing gloriously across the mess hall to bounce against the wall besides Darius' head as he arrives. For some reason, the ex always in Mollify when you tell him that this was a training exercise, but the pilots are delighted. Everybody's in high spirits. Hell yeah. Mad News Broadcast. What's going on here? Hostilities grow in St. Ives Park conf Pack Conflict. Alright. Fighting against the Capellans. Sure, I would like to know more. Alright, blah. Doesn't, that doesn't help me or hinder me in any way. The Raven is ready. You is Let's go. Let's go that convoy. Our mechs are in. Deploy. Ant-Man, hello. How's it going? Oof. So I think we can reliably engage one skull missions now. Um, the only things that could be a little bit creepy could be assassinations or battles. One and a half skull, maybe as well. Would be nice to feel another mech warrior though then for one and a half skull. Because while we have mechs, we're very light. Especially in terms of weapons. I'd actually like to have a couple more ravens. Come think of it. I need more firepower. I would like to, to have a better, bigger mech. Command interface initiated. Hello, Stuggy. How's it going? Alright, there we go. Let's go to our escort point. It's gonna be up here. So, well, that's an easy way. We just run across the street. This is a better mission than last Fire mission. When we, were, when we had to, like, wonder where we need to go. What is that spore field? Oh yeah, we don't want that, but we want to sprint through here, it doesn't matter. It. We can sprint through. As long as we don't get shot, everything's fine. Location confirmed. Yep, oh, that one went a little bit sideways. Coordinates received. All right. Run, little guys, run. And then we have to make out where we will have our, our extract spot. I have to basically guess where the convoy is point. going, right? Okay, so Roger. there's some more space up here. Whoa, Acknowledged. is that the map border? Location confirmed. That's the map border, and the map border up here is where? Here? Is that the map border? Can't really see it. That looks like that could be the extract zone. Well, that's the map border. Okay, that's the, that's the map border. Okay. So the extract zone could be down here somewhere. So, um... I will move some of my mechs over to the side, because I don't think that the combo will be going the same way that we came from. On the move. Of course I could be wrong, in which case we'll be... we'll have some egg on our face, but, you know... What can you do? Uh -huh. If they design the missions surprise, Move surprise position. style, then we have to deal with them surprise, surprise style. Um, we can't go through here, right? Nope. We'll have to go around. On my way. Just to make sure I don't stand in the capture zone. On my way. We could also go this way, but nah, this is NC. This we're going this way. I'm pretty sure we're going this way. On the move. Moving out. I'm there. We're going to use the Raven, I believe, to babysit these guys. Nah, I'm gonna use the panther. The reason I'm gonna use the panther is because the panther aye, aye. is slow, but it has range. So, move the panther here. Raven moves here. Yeah, I'm thinking the extract, uh, escort zone will probably, hang on. Probably gonna be around here somewhere. So, Waiting on let's move you, everybody forward. And be very evasive about it. Heading out. Mm -hmm. Confirmed. Raven goes onto the streets here. Yeah, I would like ECM Raven, that would be nice. And you move. You wait for a sec. Bracing for impact. Okay, Our Raven moves here. Kintaro moves here. Move order is brace, brace. And we move into the, the convoy zone. Let's see what happens. Here comes the convoy. Here comes the enemy. 
You gotta be fucking kidding me. He's on the other side! Yes, Commander. <sighs> I hate these guys so fucking way, much time. right now! You gotta... Where's this convoy going? Like, you, you can't be serious. You can... you cannot be serious. They're going this way. <sighs> There's the escort zone. God almighty. <sighs> Ready for orders. This is this is just um I don't know whether that's like I don't know if, if the, the mod author could have done anything about this, but from the guys that made Battletech, this is just like this particular mission type. It's just such poor design. Honestly, they should have scrapped it if they can't fix it. Got it. That's just such poor design. <sighs> this is gonna suck now. Oh, well, this thing was actually taking a good, a good amount of shots. Yeah, they're all over there. There's even three targets coming in. Hey, the Harrison could be dead. Okay, hey! Okay, transports are doing it themselves, so... Why am I even here? I have I have no chance of reaching this in time here. anymore. Like, zero chance, I think. Moving out. Definitely not with TTB or any like, of my bigger mechs. Is there a way to restart the mi I might I might just restart the mission, honestly. I think I think the smart move here would be to restart the mission. I can go around maybe. Because of that far forward. Maybe I can go around. What about the LRMs? Are you in range? No. Can I sensor lock you somehow? Nope, you're not in range. Okay then. Anybody remember MWO Escort mode? There's some there's something about Battletech game creators and, and uh, modes of escort where they just all fail. Acknowledged. Warriors, show them what right. you got. Let's see. I can't even sprint to a position where I can fight. Okay, let's reserve. Okay. Orders. Nope. Reserve. Waiting this guy's just gonna sprint forward. Oh. Are they just gonna stay here now? Okay. I mean, that's not bad, but not getting shot. Without doing anything, which is even more stupid. Ay, ay, ay. Yes, Commander. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, yeah, they can get stuck. They used to get stuck, but that was because uh, you don't have uh, pilots next to them. I will, I, I will never do an, another escort mission again in this game ever, regardless of the board. It's just stupid as hell. Ready for orders. All right, can we sprint here? Yes, we can sprint here at least. Confirmed. Um, I have enough for a precision strike. Maybe I can kill this thing. Couldn't kill it, but we did damage it nicely. Standing by. All right, uh, Rodan, where the hell are you? Oh, over there. Can you jump anywhere useful? No, we can just sprint. Okay, we'll just sprint. Whatever. Roger, Skipper. Kicking it. <laughs> you essentially have to send most of your lands ahead and then trigger the combo with one mech that you left behind. Yeah, that's what we did. Unfortunately, the Conway went the other way. I big brained it. But the game said, nah. I'll just do the opposite of what you wanted to do. Waiting for order. Kick W. Alright, into the water we go. We have multi target, right? No, we don't have multi target. But we can shoot this Predator tank destroyer with an AC 20. Yeah, we need to, we need to get his attention somehow. Let's do this in AC-20. Oof. Holy shit, these transports are godlike. What do they feed them? What is in that thing? Machine guns and medium lasers, you just, you just destroyed them. Oh, this guy has a rocket launcher 15s. Okay, that explains it. Wow. Alright, TTB is gonna just trail him behind. On my way. Lumber Double around, time. be slow. I could give my I could give my landsmates target prediction, but this is for the remainder of the turn, so it doesn't do anything right now. Oh, it's on. 
on now. Okay, Ravistar, what can you do? Can you sprint to a spot where you can actually attack this tank? Yes, you can. Acknowledged. What is that over here? It's a scorpion. I'm not scared about that thing. I'm scared about that thing right here. Roger. Yes! We took away the AC-20. Reporting one less vehicle. Oof. Panther. It's always the Panther. The saving grace is the Panther. I feel like a Capellan Lance commander right now. Yeah. Uh, Wolfbane's, well, uh, run. <laughs> Affirmative. <laughs> run. <laughs> and firepower! Da -da 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 I want some of these uh, track vehicles. These are, these are good. I need to get yes, commander. in range here somehow. I. I'm still sprinting like a crazy madman. You can can bet your ass the the, the supports are gonna drop like in Timbuktu over here and shoot my guys instantly. There we go. If I'm if I pull back, if I pull back, Reverse State might actually area. work to get my guys in range first. Let's see. If I, if I move him back, they should not move. Good to go. Okay, let's sprint. Haul an ass. I need to get Reverse back now. Don't move. Don't move in there. Yes, good. All right. Reverse, it should be. It should be. Ah, yes. Yes. This is all. This is all fine so far. I just need to move back here now. This Got is once again a gamble, done. but they shouldn't be moving if my guys are not in range. So if I pull River stay back here, they shouldn't be moving. Holding now we here. can run in with showboat. Can run in here. Can run in here. Maybe run TTB all the way around. Come on. Of course, now you're moving. Beforehand, you sent me a message. Oh, there's nobody in range. We can't move. And all of a sudden, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Um, this is this is the last escort mission I will ever do in my life in this game. Period. I will never do another one. I know why. I know why. Confirmed. I, 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 okay, maybe maybe run away here further. Maybe that will do something. I don't know. Roger. Bend and eat. What are these guys doing? Well, okay, now the AI is shitting itself. Uh, hello? Can somebody please explain to me what the AI is doing? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. What's up, boss? On my way. I'll just wait here. As good a spot as any. Roger that. Okay, now they're coming back. The yeah, ice try to stay in the escort range. Okay, I see. Oh, uh, the driving to Timbuktu. Okay. Uh, you know what would have been the best way of solving this whole problem? Giving the player control over the AI vehicles. How about that? Hmm? I know it's a big brain Roger. thing. It's a, it's a huge galaxy brain Fire idea. You, Moving out. Nobody would have ever thought of it. Coordinates received. Heading out. Mm -hmm. Ah, vehicles that you can uh, buy, Sudigi. I saw that. Okay, he's in the zone. He's in the zone. He's triggered it. Enemy drop incoming. Probably here, here or over somewhere here. Anywhere where I'm not in range, because that would be comfortable. Oh, oh, oh! No, not yet. Okay, we have one turn to sprint. Let's make the let's make the most of it. Let's make the most of it. I Affirmative. On it. Okay. Alright. Looking better now. Not as bleak as I thought it would be. Yep. And of course, enemies spawn behind us. Surprise! I bet, I bet the dropship pilot on the other side is not the lady from Mech Warrior 5. She actually picks the people up where they're supposed to be picked up. Or dropped off at a good spot. Right, can you get into a position where you can shoot these dudes? Not right now. Can we jump? No. 
Okay. We'll just we'll just hold. Holding for the looks right like a mech and a couple of couple of vehicles. Uh, reserve. Roger that. Twenty ton vehicle reserve. Come on. Are these guys baffled? A Saracen. Whatever that is. Ow! You hit my trench bucket! Nice try! Now it's on! You shoot the trench bucket, you will get shot back. Oh, 35 tunnel. Um, move on, maybe? I don't know. Ready to get it on. No, we can't move here. Let's see. Ronan, where are you? Oh, you can get in range, though. Oh, you can get very evasive and you can get in range. Oh, yes. Primitive. What is that? What the hell is that? That looks like a Franken mech. That's a light mech? That's supposed to be a light mech? What the hell? He's got a melee axe or something. This is weird. This guy is weirding me out right now. This should be good. good shots. Alright. Can we sprint into a good position from here? Uh, no. Oh, we, will ready. we will be ready next turn. We do have target prediction though. Use that. And now, Receiving Wolfbane it. can run into position. And unleash on the Saracen with basically bad chances to hit. Well, he shot in the general direction of the enemy. That's a miss. The Toro is a towering design, this Tovarish. Well, that makes sense. Yes, Commander. Because Toro means bull. Alright, let's see. Everybody's in there. And here comes the counterfire. Mortars! <laughs> Ah. All right, it's time to bring the Lurm Lord. Can we just destroy this thing. He's he's in a weird spot where I can't really properly hit him. Same thing goes for this guy, but whatever. Let's do a little bit of damage. Whoa. Uh, what is going on here? What is that? Is that a tornado? What the hell is that? That looks very weird. Uh. Hello? Uh, uh, what is happening here? <laughs> is it a dropship poop or something? Okay, well. Waiting for orders. All right. Into the forest we go. I get you. On the move. 71, this guy 33%. He's very evasive. Okay, we shoot this guy. That's a hit. Smoke for the mortars? That's possible, but it looks Critical so weird. Ahead, Commander. Nice crit. Good to go. Wolf Let's see, 61. That's the precision strike and see if we can destroy the Saracen. Good damage. Mm -hmm. It's a smoke screen. That explains why we can't see shit. The enemy is hiding behind a smoke screen. Cool. Waiting for orders. All right. Moving out. Let's use the Clint. Copy that, Commander. At least a small laser hit. And the TTB should be just, it should be TTB store at some point. Maybe we can, maybe I can shoot once this round, this whole thing. As I could go to the evac zone, but this is salvage. What? Well, where are you going? He's going on a merry go round here. Just, just driving through the countryside. All right. Armor's holding, Commander. The zoom is just Something way too here. high. Like if he's if he's here and shooting this guy, this should be the zoom. I don't understand. I don't understand the um, the camera in the, in this game. There's just so many mistakes. Copy that. Also, this guy is super evasive, but um, who cares? If you got 50 missiles, I don't care how evasive you are, so I'm not gonna hit. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, we, we adjusted the camera settings already in the options menu, but I haven't found a good a good setting yet for... Uh, maybe, ju maybe just not use the dynamic attack power camera and see how that works. Alright. Let's see. Uh, showboat. You, you can run over here. 
I guess this guy is probably still gonna be in the smoke. Uh -huh. Oh, that was that went internal. Uh, damn. Let's Get inspired, this. realistic, and now finally move up here, no and way. we can do a 90% PPC shot. Sweet. Oh yeah, that took the right torso off. Inflicted some heavy damage. All right. Commander. Change attack zoom to never, and they won't zoom during attacks. Ba -ba 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 -bum. Let's do that. Okay. Yep. Now let's move our friendly Raven right here. Copy that. And commence an alpha strike. Gyrocrit. Okay. That this guy is still alive, though. He's stressed out, but still alive. Yeah, come back here. I'm receiving you. Come back here. Show us where the bad mech touched you. All right. Are you are you still in smoke? This guy's. It's just a pack rat, and we get a full hit on him. The shot. It's a guaranteed hit. I'm taking that. And now receiving TTB. You. Can you shoot this guy in any way or form? No, but we can sprint into the forest. Roger. And we can give our teammates target prediction. Okay, and our showboat go. could theoretically move here into the smoke screen. And we will just use the medium lasers in the precision strike to hopefully destroy this guy. Pew pew! Nope. He still doesn't want to die. This guy is uh, annoying. Move. That's alright, we have another precision strike here. SM4 hit chance 97%. Yep, that did it. Is. Two salvageable parts, pilot just boogied out of there. Alright, two tanks remaining. Two tiny, tiny tanks. That dude doesn't do anything. I wonder how long that smoke stays here. Orders. With Banes, you can go actually and get direct line of sight on this guy. Go into position. Uh, gotta be careful of the lasers, here we go. Roger that. How did you miss that? You missed two shots? Yikes. Stand in by. This guy must be cross-eyed. Okay, never mind though. It's kicking time. Order acknowledged. Uh, big stompy rabbits! Yeah. Bonk. <laughs> Did you see it? It blew the tank away, but the, the tires stayed there. It just blew the tank off the tires. Literally. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> it got blown off the tires. <laughs> alright, alright. Fun's over. Here, TTB, have, have some fun. I did destroy his armor, didn't kill him though. What can I do for you? Let's see you what we can do here. Uh, plus LRMs? Nope. That should do it. Yep, here we go. His, his vehicle is destroyed and the guy now has a barrel trauma. Alright. Mission successful. So, I thought we were shafted at the beginning of the mission, but we fought it out and we actually won it through sheer luck, I would say. And we blew a tank off its tracks or wheels, whatever. That was ridiculous. 69k in cash. Nice. And what do we get for it? We get the AC-20. Of course I'm grabbing that thing. Of course I'm grabbing the AC-20. Streak LRM-10 ammo. But no indirect fire then. Hmm. Vehicle flame was lots of cores. Yeah, I'm taking the big cores here. We'll get most of the salvage though. 
All right, let's hope for some mech parts here. No mech parts. A lot of ammo. All right. Not that much value, unfortunately. But hey, three million. That's okay. We need to find the next planet to attack and uh, find some stuff. I wonder if I could go for one and a half stars, uh, one and a half scale missions. And I also wonder whether I should do that escort mission. Whether whether we'll just die horribly. Those are the questions that move me. <laughs> but, on the plus side, we made a little bit of money here. And uh, I will have to check here. Maybe we're at 2.3 millions now. Um, if I sold some of those cores. Because you guys told me that engine cores are really good for selling. Uh... Where would I find the engine cores, though? Oh, here's a core. Ah, oh, it's buying. That's selling. Mm -hmm. Oh, here are the cores, okay. That's not really that much cash here. The heck is saying you typically try to have a heavy mech in lineup before you take on more than one scar missions? So, but you would have to buy a heavy mech, right? So you would have to find a heavy mech in, in on sale somewhere, which means, which means you need cash. And the thing is, me personally, I'm not convinced that salvage gets you more more money out of the missions than cash. I mean, we just salvaged, what was that? Three million worth of cash at 15% resale value. I mean, yeah, you could you could gamble, you could get something good uh, that you can use. In that case, you save on the, the acquisition cost of that, of course. But still. Like, the sell value of these parts is really bad. Hmm. But what, what, what do bigger cores do for me? I don't, it might be a stupid question, but let's say, for example, we have this Kentaro. What would happen if I put in a different core? Plus one installable engine heat sinks. Hmm. Well, where do the engine heat sinks go? For example, if I put in a smaller core. Take it to 50. What would that do? Except lower my tonnage. Does this do anything to me? Let's say I put a 180 in. That lowers the heat efficiency because that's less internal heat sinks. So E cooling is specific equipment, minus 21 heat, single heat sinks. That's the engine cooling value, right? So if I put in the 250, that's minus 30 heat because it has 10 internal heat sinks. And then the 280 has plus one heat sink cap. So that would be then what? That doesn't do anything. Except except make the mech heavier. So I could put another heat sink in there, but how do I put it in there? Because heat sinks in the engine should not have should not have uh, weight, right? Where do I put this? Gonna add E cooling plus one? Nope. Or is it like an engine cooling plus one thing? I don't have any at the moment. Okay, that makes sense. So this core 280 makes no sense then. This core 280 is just way too heavy. So I could, I would better go just with a 250 core. Because it doesn't change anything. I free up a little bit of tonnage. How about that? How about that? Perfect. Perfect. So we just freed up some tonnage. That we could use for... I don't know... Uh, oops. Lasers. Bring another medium laser. And I could bring another jump jet, maybe. Aha! 
Aha. Heat efficiency goes down a little bit though, but at least we have a medium laser now. And we got the Apollo ammo for the MRMs. Alright. So that's a good combination, I would say. That'll work. Alright. So now I understand a little bit better how engine cores work. Shouldn't be too hard. Let's see if it's the same thing here. That's a core to 50. And cores below 250, I think, will then be what? Uh, yeah, that's heat sinks per ton, okay. So the higher cores really don't help me at this moment. Damn it. What does the Panther have? Core 145. Yeah, I really need better mechs. It boils down to do that we need a better mechs, guys. 100%. Should I try this? Hang on. Yeah, we'll, we'll try that mission. We'll, we'll try the escort mission next round. If TTB dies, I'm going to be very, very sad. So you guys might be very, very happy after that one. <laughs> I'll see you next time.